OMG, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate it so much and I am so, so happy to see you. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with my Walgreens haul like I do every Sunday. Oh my gosh, it's a brand new week of deals. So dang exciting and there's going to be a lot going on this week with Walgreens OMG. We got the purchase space coupons that I know some of you lost because you didn't clip them and I'm so sorry. Don't worry. They will come back around. You got to clip the boosters as soon as you see them. Do not wait. I don't care what anybody else tells you. Do not wait. Clip them right away. Um, so I did a bunch of transactions today. I still have more to do and we get the beauty event this week. Oh my gosh. My beautiful friend, Lachelle, she had already emailed me. She got a picture of the beauty event flyer. So I will be posting that on the community tab. Thank you so, so much, Lachelle. I appreciate it so much. Some of your stores will allow you to either use a screenshot of it or print it out and they will scan it for you. Some of them will not. So you can't be mad at it. It is whatever the store um, rules are. If you don't have an actual beauty consultant where you can actually get that paper booster yourself, I will post a video in the description box all about the beauty event, just in case you're like, what the heck is the beauty event? That answers all of your questions on that. So we got that coming up. So make sure you're checking your folders and looking out for the digital booster as well, which does stack with the paper booster. Fingers crossed that I get it. I haven't got it yet. So keep checking. I think usually around Monday or Tuesday, they show up for the accounts that will get them and not all accounts will get them. It is totally random and there's nothing you can do to get it. But today I am working with a spend 20 earn 5000 point booster and you know i used points on that booster even though everybody tells you you can't do that <laughs> and guess what i still got my points back omg i'll link a video in the description box as well how to use points on a spend deal because that's always a hot topic and i always have newbies on the channel that don't understand it, especially if they've been listening to other people tell them that they absolutely cannot use points on a spend deal. And I'm here to tell you, we do it on this channel all of the dang time. So I had um, one digital coupon not come off. OMG, of course, customer service already fixed it. And I had a little bit of a snag in the store where I had to change my transactions around. <sighs> If you guys caught that video where I told you the big guy's coming, here comes the big guy there. <laughs> you got kind of a view of him. He was sleeping in the other room. Apparently he heard me talking and knew he had to make his appearance. <laughs> um, if you caught that video where I told you how to avoid, because what's been happening at Walgreens now is if you clip on the coupon, coupons in the app and you scan products that way to see if there's any available coupons, it'll automatically clip any that are available. And we don't want that to happen because the lowest value coupon always comes off. So I told you, instead of clipping on coupons, you've got to clip on shop. That way you can scan the products and see what coupons are available, but it won't clip them. I did it today. I was accidentally on the coupon folder and I scanned some Crest and it clipped all of my dang coupons, including the $1 one. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I have to, I had to change things around because now I got to figure out what I want to do and how I want to structure it because I don't want to be unclipping $5 and $7 coupons. I hate even unclipping $1 coupons, but... So that is that. Don't do not do what I did. <laughs> Clip on shop. So we got some awesome digital coupons today for Crest. None of them seem to be attaching to the $2.99 toothpaste, which is a bummer because we made some magic happen with those big high value coupons and those threshold coupons. 
we can still make some magic happen. It's just not going to be as big of a moneymaker and that's totally fine. I just had something that I wanted to tell you, but now I forgot. Hmm. Okay. We are super duper close. OMG to hitting 6,000 subscribers. Thank you all so, so much for always giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for all of your comments. I try to respond to all of them. Um, thank you for sharing my video. If you think it could help somebody else, that all helps the channel grow. And we are doing this together. So as soon as we hit that 6,000 subscriber mark, we will be doing a gift card giveaway drawing that I love to do on this channel. So in the meantime, I'm actually gonna do two surprise giveaways today. I've been trying to really thank you guys so much for using my referral links because it means so much to me and I know it's helping you save money and getting some cash back as well. So I'm gonna do two winners today. If you use my referral link ever for Fetch Rewards, I drew a winner, I put you all in a bucket and the winner is Tawana P. I will pop it up on the screen along with my email address. Send me an email and I will send you out a $10 gift card to your choice of stores. And also we're drawing a Swag Bucks winner today. So if you've ever used my referral link for Swag Bucks, that winner is now a days 515, I think it's up on the screen. <laughs> You won yourself a $10 gift card as well. And make sure you send me an email with where you would like your gift card to and your mailing address. Congratulations to both of you. And thank you all so, so much for using my referral link. I just appreciate it so, so much. All right. So we're going to go over the purchase base coupons. And I did a spend 20, earn 5,000 points using points and I actually did that one separate from the purchase base coupons just because I have seen people even though technically it can be done and still use points I've seen people use a purchase base coupon and use points and even though all their coupons matched up and they actually met the spend requirements through their coupons and cash they didn't get the points back and I just didn't want to even chance it today because we all know Walgreens can be wonky. All right, so let's get into this. I'm super excited to share with you. And yes, I did pick up some King C. Super excited. I got the booster this week, so it made sense for me to do it. So I'm super excited to share all of this with you guys. Let's get into the haul. All right, so here is everything from my Sunday Walgreens haul. Oh my gosh, I did six transactions today because of those purchase space coupons. And keep in mind, I still have one account that has a five off 20. And then I have another account that has a five off 12, a five off 15, and a five off 20 to still use. Now, I heard some of y'all, and I've heard some other couponers, like, they're not clipping the three off 15, like, that's a low-value coupon, they're not going to use it. I don't know. I don't know when a $3 coupon became a low-value coupon. Uh, I use that, baby. If you're not going to use it, I will definitely use it, because I use it on things I was going to pick up anyways for the house, like the pop. I can't get a $3 off coupon off a of Coca-Cola product, so why not use the source coupon? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, the batteries. If I was going to pick up batteries, that $3 coupon helps so much. So, I know it's not as sexy as the $5 coupon, but it's a $3 ding coupon, and it's not every day we get $3 off coupons. So, I used mine. <laughs> I don't get, I just don't get you that are like, that's a low value coupon. $3 is a high value coupon. <laughs> All right. So I already told you I had to change up some of my transactions, which is why you don't see any crust here. Don't worry. It'll be coming. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do since I clipped all those dang coupons at once. So let me just go over a couple of the deals and then I'll show you my receipts and my register rewards. And like I said, it's probably just going to be a week full of dang Walgreens. OMG. So many great deals going on and the beauty event coming. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so, so exciting. 
All right, so the L'Oreal is on promotion. Buy two, earn a $5 extra buck. I picked up these single eyeshadows for $5.99 each. So that totals, I wrote it down, $11.98. I had a $3 digital and a $2 digital that came off of those, bringing it down to $6.98. And then you get back a $5 register reward. So making that a final cost of $1.98 or $0.99 cents each but I'm not even factoring in the purchase base coupon at this point. And the one reason why I did wanna pick those up today and use those digital coupons versus saving them for the beauty event is because the ad, it's very weirdly worded, so I have no idea, but it says, if you purchase two L'Oreal or Maybelline eye makeup products, you will get a mystery coupon up to $10. Now, let me know in the comments. I did get a $3 digital today. I don't know if that's the mystery coupon. The ad is worded so weird that I don't know if you have to make the purchase first before you get the coupon. So I'll be obviously checking my coupon folder. But I'm curious to know if everybody got the $3 coupon because it wasn't listed as a just for you or exclusive coupon. So I'm guessing everybody got that. All right, the Olay, I was excited to pick up the bars because I hardly ever pick up bars. And some of you asked me about bar soap deals. This is a great deal. Even if you don't have the purchase base coupon, it's still a good deal. But they're two for 12 and you get back a $4 register reward. And I use $2 paper coupons from our June P&G and my five off of 12 purchase base coupon. So I was left to pay $5 for those after my three coupons came off, the $5 and the two $1, and I got back a $4 register reward, making that just 50 cents each. All right, I already had it in my mind that I was gonna pick up the Energizer, except for it was way more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. Last week goes on sale for $7.99. I guess I didn't realize that was the sale price. I just, I mean, a four pack of batteries is $10.49. Are you kidding me? So I had it in my breakdown. So I went ahead and picked it up because I had that $3 purchase base coupon that I was going to give a good home to. So they are buy one, get one half price. And then we have $3 IVC coupons for each pack. So it takes off six. So both of those together totaled $15.73. The IVC took off six, so $9.73. I did have a 50 cent digital coupon, so that brought it down to $9.23. And then Ibotta gave me back $1.25 for each one of them, so $2.50 back, bringing that down to $6.73, but then I used my purchase base coupon in this transaction, and I'm just taking it right off the dang batteries. So I was left to pay $3.73 for two packs of batteries or $1.86 each. I just don't know that it gets too much better than that for this brand of batteries. Oh my gosh. All right, the Colgate is on special. Buy two, earn a $4 register reward. It is on sale for $2.99. You will only get one register reward per transaction. So if you try to do multiples, you're still only gonna get one. The reason I picked up three was because I had a $5 off three digital. That didn't come off any dang way. Customer service already credited me the points though. So that's why I picked up three of them in that transaction. And I had to figure out something real quick. So I went ahead and picked up the U by Kotex. These are two for $8 everyday price. We have an awesome $5 off two digital coupon, bringing that down to just two for three or $1.50 each. And then I snag some palm olive. This is a month long deal. They are on sale $1.99 each. And when you buy two, you earn 2,000 points. So that brings the final cost on these down to 99 cents each. I did the Venus razors. They are on sale $9.99. A $4 digital coupon showed up this morning. So that brings it down to $5.99, but you get back a $4 register reward. And you know with the beauty event, I wanna have as many register rewards as possible. And then I got the king, the king. And I was excited. I wasn't super excited to pick up the razor, but when I saw the store had this one in, I thought, all right, I'm totally gonna do this deal and I'm gonna pair it with my spend 20, earn 5,000 points. King C is on a promotion of spend 20, earn 5,000 points as well. 
So basically I double dipped. This baby is $29.99, but they gave us that awesome $10 off coupon. So I did use points on a spend deal and I did get points back. So let's take a look at my transaction. So my first transaction was um, for some household needs and I used that $3 off 15. Yes, I did because $3 is a big coupon to me. And if I'm gonna buy pop, then I wanna get $3 off. I think that's pretty awesome. So there is my palm olive. I picked up four of them in this transaction. And then there are my Coke products, which are on sale three for $9.99 this week, which is cheaper than the grocery store. Unfortunately, I do have a bottle deposit in Michigan, so I cannot get away from paying that $3.60 in bottle return um, fee. So you probably won't have that. So we're gonna kind of not count that in the, the total numbers. So even though I had all coupons clipped, I had my three off 15, my five off 12, my five off um, 15 and my five off 20 year, the lowest value is almost always going to come off first. Somebody commented and said that their five off 20 came off instead of their five off 15. If you have a three off 15, your three off 15 is coming off first. So I already knew that and I planned for that. I used two register rewards that were expiring today to lower my out of pocket. So my subtotal was $9.55. I did use $5 in points. So I paid $4.55, but remember $3.60 of that is the bottle deposit that a lot of you will not have. So what I got back from this transaction was 4,000 points because I picked up four of the Palmolive. So nothing too exciting, but I got to use a dang $3 coupon off of some household needs. All right, next I picked up the Olay, did that by itself, used my five off 12, my $2 paper coupons. I was left it with a subtotal of $5. I redeemed $5 in points. And guess what I got back? A $4 register reward for those bars of soap. Yes, making them only 50 cents each. All right, next I did the Energizer. 10.49 for one, 5.24 for the other. I had the cashier scan the IBC book. It took $3 off each one. And then I picked up some Cottonelle. Now, I do have a thank you coupon on my account that says if I purchase any Cottonelle, I will earn a thousand in points. And I've told you guys that you cannot use points on those thank you coupons, they do not work. I did have somebody comment and said that they did use points and they got their points back. So I thought, okay, maybe something changed within the last week since I did it. Uh, like things change all of the time. So I tried it out. Let's see if I got my points back. I picked up two palm olives in this one. I used my three off 15. This is another account now. There's my 50 cent off of Energizer Digital. And then I had um, three register rewards that I wanted to use. This $3 one, was a, even though it says manufacturer coupon, I don't know, it is showing up as a manufacturer coupon here, but it is thank you from Walgreens. And so I was really nervous that that one would affect spend deals like a store coupon. But I also used two of my $1.29 that I earned from Mentos last week. So my subtotal was $9.62 in Michigan. I can use points to pay down my tax. So I paid a zero subtotal on this one. What I earned back in points was 2,000 for the two palm olive. The cashier actually told me when I told her I wanted to use 10 in points, she said, oh, the computer is telling me that you have a coupon that you won't, you can't use points on. And I said, okay. So I knew it was the, the thank you coupon for Cottonelle. I don't know why those don't work with points. They don't say spend or anything like that, but they do not work with points in my experience. So I did not earn my thousand points for purchasing the Cottonelle, which by the way is on sale for $4.99 this week. Normally that 12 equals 24 roll is $9.99. So I did go ahead and pick it up. I actually thought there was an IVC coupon for a dollar off of that, but it is not for that one. It's for the like mega rolls. So that's fine. It was $4.99. I used my $3 coupon, which I applied towards the, the batteries, but it went to the whole transaction. All right, next I did the Colgate and the two um, L'Oreal eyes. And I used my five off 15 in this one. 
my $3 for L'Oreal came off and my $2 for L'Oreal came off. My $5 Colgate did not come off. So my subtotal was $10.95. I did use $10 in points to pay, so I paid a subtotal of $0.95. Cents. However, customer service did credit me with um, um, 5,000 points for this. So I used 10,000 in points. I actually hit beauty in this transaction, so I earned 5,000 points, but I got the 5,000 points back. So I got back all the points that I spent um, for the Colgate and the two L'Oreal, plus I got a $5 register reward for L'Oreal and a $4 register reward for Colgate. So pretty dang fantastic. That transaction in itself was a dang $9 moneymaker or almost because I think I paid a subtotal of 95 cents. So like an $8 moneymaker. That's awesome. All right, next transaction, I picked up the Venus Razors, a Hershey Take 5, the two U by Kotex, which are two for eight, the Sour Punch Straws. I used my five off of 20 in this one. I used a $5 coupon off of, oh, that was the U by Kotex E coupon that came off. My $4 Venus came off, and then I had a dollar um, digital coupon for the Sour Punch Straws as well. Plus, I got 30 cents back from Ibotta for the Sour Punch Straws. So my subtotal was $5.43. I did use five in points, so I paid a subtotal of $0.43. Cents. So on this one, I got back a $4 register reward for the Venus. And I also got 80 points, I think. I'll pop it up on the screen. 80 points from Fetch Rewards. Make sure you are always scanning in your receipts to Fetch Rewards. There will be a link in the description box of how to use Ibotta and Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is definitely like the easiest rebate app there is. So they do partner with you by Kotex. So I got like 80 points for that. So pretty cool. All right, here's my spend deal. What I picked up was the King C and I picked up two of the L'Oreal. That was my whole transaction. So the deal was spend 20 and 5,000 points on King C. Plus I had that spend 20 and 5,000 points digital booster. So I knew I wanted to roll $20 in points, which means I need to get my subtotal to over 40. So I was at like $41 or something. I'll pop it up on the screen how much I was at. So the King C beard trimmer is $29.99. Each one of the L'Oreal's are $5.99. This is a different account because once you use digital coupons, they are gone. You already saw the other one where I did use my digital coupons for L'Oreal. My $10 digital, this account here also, only this is the account that I only clipped one of the purchase base coupons, which was the five off 20 and the, the receipt I just showed you. So I didn't want to mess with the purchase base coupon on the spend deal just because I wasn't sure what it was going to do. So I used the $10 off of King C Gillette beard trimmer, $3 off of L'Oreal and $2 off of L'Oreal. My subtotal was $26.97. This is a little bit higher than I normally would pay cash out of pocket. I, I used $20 in points. So I did pay a subtotal of $6.97 here. And let's take a look at what I got back. I got back 15,000 dang points. How did you do that, Jody? You used points on a spend deal. You, everybody says you can't do that. I earned 10,000 points because I spent 20 for King C. And I earned 5,000 points because I had that digital booster of spend 20, earned 5,000 points. The reason I could do it was because my coupons and my cash met the threshold of spend 20. So I had $15 in coupons here, plus $6.97 in cash. So I had a total spend, according to the computer, of $21.97. So I could, in fact, use $20 in points to lower my out-of-pocket and still get my points back. So I got 15,000 points back from this transaction, plus a $5 register reward from L'Oreal. So pretty dang fantastic. I am like absolutely obsessed with using points on a spend deal. I just, there's no other way to do it. <laughs> you got to get your, I want my out of pocket lower. So, all right, let's take a look at my register rewards. There is my $5 register reward for L'Oreal. And I had two of them. Here's my other one. So there are both of those. I had a $4 from Colgate. 
I had a $4 from P&G, which was for the um, Olay. And I had a $4 from P&G for the um, Venus. So today I earned five register rewards. So that totaled me $22. So I got $22 in register rewards that I earned today. I did spend some points to earn that, and that's what I always do before the beauty event. I take my points and I turn them into register rewards so that I am paying super duper low out of pocket for the beauty event and racking up on huge points during the beauty event. So I'm super excited to hear what you picked up today at Walgreens or what you are planning on picking up this week. And are you going to be using those purchase space coupons to rack up on some register rewards? I think based on what I did last week with the purchase space coupons, what I did today with the purchase space coupons, I have about $90 in register rewards for the beauty event. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. But again, remember, I have a five off 20 threshold coupon still, a five off 12, a five off 15, and another a five off 20 to go ahead and use. So I will definitely be picking up probably some more Olay, another Venus. We'll see what I decide to pick up. Maybe I'll try the Colgate again and try the Total SF Advanced. But when I did check on um, the app, none of the toothpaste were attaching to any coupon. But that happens sometimes and the coupons still come off. So just be aware that my Colgate coupon did not come off. Let me know if you have tried to use it and if yours came off. All right, as always, if you got some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Super duper excited. It's gonna be an amazing week at Walgreens. And I'm gonna see you guys again real soon. Congratulations to the two winners I announced. Bye!